to deliver yeah. as you know the walking towards the light yeah and and it should this this like in the 80s from you know from when i was a child you always hear people with these deaf experience i see my family there yeah i've seen uncles and grandfathers right. saying walk come towards the light right so that we you know that we can merge both of these questions together okay right are, are, are they helping us no, those are souls that's trapped. Let me, let me give you a pyramid structure of how this thing goes. Okay. You got two realms. You have the Devashanic plane, mm -hmm. which basically snatched the souls up to get them ready for a cycle of reincarnation. Now, that reincarnation can be 50 years, 100 years. The older the soul, the longer it takes to reincarnate. Mm. Younger, uh, and especially those ones that don't have a soul, because you do have those people. They can reincarnate faster. Okay. Um, so you uh, uh, can reincarnate faster. We'll give you the, the uh, uh, what's going on here. The it's being ruled by a group of entities called the Demiurge, the Olympian deities, the Orishas, the Divas, the, the Shining Ones, and their light is a prism. It's the astral light, and in so many words, they get you into this cycle of reincarnation or what I would like to say reincarceration. Mm. Doing time on planet Earth, mm. reincarceration. I see. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, um, this is the lowest plane. No one really needs to really be here or wants to be here. It's got good sense other than when you take on a human body. You, you, you are duped into being here because the first thing happens, which is so bad about it, is you would, if you came back as an adult, you would understand the game. Hey, wait a minute. Right. I'm doing this shit over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. That's why they snatch you back into a small brain of a baby. Mm -hmm. Which means that that small brain is almost like a piece of oblivion. It's so dumb until it has to regain memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And although it's regaining memory, it's, it, and it has certain elements of the previous life, as it gets more and more mauled into the life that it is now incarnated in, that life basically diminishes or dis uh, extinguishes the life prior to it. So the brain is developed to, number one, tap into, or uh, number one, coincide with the life that it is reincarnated into mm -hmm. and give data and, and, and to to basically notice the world that is it that is encased in, but it's also developed to somehow suppress the previous life, mm, yeah. which is only in the memory of the soul, which the connection of that soul is the pineal gland, mm. the brain up under the brain. Okay. So in so many words, all this is is a cosmic trick mm -hmm. by a group of entities that only exists through your ignorance of your soul and your knowledge of the universe that gives them their energy. So in so many words, they exist through you. There's a story before, uh, 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 before H.P. Lovecraft, there was another guy by the name of Lord Doomsley mm -hmm. that was having these dreams. Mm -hmm. For him, it was Bulwer Lighton was having these dreams. 1800, Lord Doomsley was the early 1900s, and he wrote a book called The Gods of Pegana. Mm -hmm. And he talked about how this great mother went to sleep. And these children in this particular case is these particular false beings, their prisms, they don't have the power to be the gods of the universe or the gods of the omniverse. Mm. But they have the power to create an alternative world for themselves by trapping souls mm. in those worlds. And those souls are being dumbed down based on some type of trap. That is the human brain that is developed from a child. Mm -hmm. so, Lord, so the gods of Pegana talks about they have one particular god that is one of these children gods, and he beats this drum. And he beats this drum to keep a certain pulsation of sleep, you see, for not only the great mother who's in a slumber, 
but the children that's in a slumber, and should that beat ever stop, the old gods will wake up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In this particular case, if you break it back down to the human physiology, it's talking about the brain. It's, it's talking about the brain. Um, some, of the, some of the Gnostic material, Bentley Layton's book will, will make mention about the children, but one, uh, a book from the 1950s called Gnostic Religion by Hans Jonas gets into that particular, Gnostic Religion by Hans Jonas gets into that particular part about the children, the babies. And, uh, the baby. So in so many words, what I'm saying here, we are, this is uh, incarceration by a group of subordinate deities that gain the foothold on the earth and the universe or whatever, while the pristine deities went into a form of a hibernation. So now... And this so the so that earth. the dim so that light that you go to mm -hmm. is their realm. Mm -hmm. oh, mm. so the, 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 tricking you, tricking you into that right. The, 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 right to be free of them is to go to the dark, which is the realm of primal sleep. Mm. Oh, okay. Primal sleep. Mm -hmm. So they talk about this when a man sleeps. Mm -hmm. He goes to his true self. The Quran says when a man sleeps, he is dead. You see, but, uh, but it's a primal realm that inside, but, 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 but also it's, although it's a primal realm, when you're inside of this physical realm, it is so opposite this realm until you usually have fear of it, especially children. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Especially children. We'll get into that particular aspect. 